All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay Will. So a lot of you guys have requested the uh, iPhone 10 versus the Essential phone. So I want to give you a quick, brief overview of my thoughts on both of these phones. Um, they're both good, uh, I'll admit, uh, but one has to be better than the other at some things. And we're going to talk about that in this video right here uh, while I compare the uh, iPhone 10 versus the Essential phone. So let's get into this. All right, guys, so it's time to get this comparison going here with the iPhone 10 and the Essential phone. So uh, essentially, this is two phones, no pun intended. Essentially, these are two phones that a few people have asked me to compare, and I have no problem doing so, taking the time out to shoot a video for you. So I'm just going to go down the basic rundown of like I would do for any video review, but just compare the phones and tell you which ones I think does it better. So um, let's start with hardware. Hardware on both of these. Uh, it's uh, actually really good. Now, over here, you have a glass and metal look. You've got that glass back, glass front, steel frame, uh, stainless steel frame that goes around. And over here, you have titanium and cer uh, ceramic. So, uh, when I look at these, um, I think both of them are beautiful. I think Apple's hardware is, is definitely top-notch on here. And I, I don't have any complaints about the hardware except for the slipperiness along the stainless steel portion. But other than that, this is actually really good hardware. Now, when it comes to the Essential Phone here, um, let's close the game out for us. So, when it comes to the Essential Phone, um, you're getting titanium. This is probably the world's first titanium and ceramic phone. I do have a skin on here, and that's solely for grip. I do have one coming for this phone as well. Uh, but... Um, when it comes to that, I think this is subjective, but like all of these are subjective, but the iPhone appears to be a little bit taller and they're pretty much the same. Uh, with, these are pretty much the same size. It's just the iPhone is a little bit more rounded and the essential phone is more square and flat. So it looks like the essential phone uh, is a lot smaller. Uh, but in all actuality, you know, they both have good hardware, but if I had to pick one, I'm I would pick the Essential Phone for the better hardware. Now, as far as the screens go, uh, the Essential Phone, uh, it does have a matte screen protector on there, so disclaimer for that, but aside from that, the Essential Phone has a beautiful, uh, beautiful display. Now, I do have dark wallpapers on these at the moment, uh, but, uh, nonetheless, the displays on both of these are good. The Essential Phone, though, is just a tad bit better, and not because of the spec bump that's on the Essential Phone. Not because of that. I mean, this one is 1312 by 2560, and this is the 1125 by 2436. You know, other than that, I mean, you do have a higher pixel count over here, but you really can't tell. But I just like the display of this one a lot better when producing certain colors and the way it shows things back. Um, it's just a really good display. No other way to no other way to say it. <clears throat> it's a little bit better than this this phone right here because with the with the iPhone, um, these are both kind of full displays. Like you get a five point seven over here and a five point eight over here, but with the iPhone you're getting less. They both have that notch, if you will, at the top. Uh, but you just have a camera up here, a single camera, and then you have the the multiple sensors and cameras over here on the iPhone ten, and that could take away from the display from some people, but. You know, I just think the display on this one is just a hair better. Not by much, but it's a little bit better. I think it's more of that squared off look that I'm kind of used to. Now, speakers on these, uh, the iPhone 10 wins because it has a dual speaker setup. And not only that, it is actually much louder than this phone. Although the Essential phone has a very loud speaker. Uh, it's a very loud speaker. It's just what it is. So camera quality is no comparison. That one definitely goes to the iPhone 10 as well. Uh, and again, I told you this will be fast. So that one definitely goes to the iPhone 10. No comparison in, in, in camera footage on the front. The iPhone wins, even though the iPhone doesn't have the best camera. I think it's definitely better than the Essential Phone because you have more features and functionality in the front camera. The Essential Phone is kind of bare bones and there's just nothing there, uh, which isn't a bad thing. It's just that there's nothing to compare. The front camera on this one has portrait mode. It has all these different lighting effects. It just It's a lot more fun to use and a lot more... Um, a lot more accurate as well when, when taking photos and things like that. The essential phone, on the other hand, it needs work on the front camera. It needs some help. Now, the rear camera um, is a different story. Uh, while the iPhone is still the better camera on the rear, the essential phone is no slouch. The, the cameras on the essential phone are not as bad as what people say they are. Um, it's more it's more subjective. They are bad, you know, but they're better than the V30s. This front camera is better than the V30s camera, but the V30s rear camera is a little bit better than this one, and so on. So 
every phone is going to have some kind of something about it that's just not too great. And unfortunately for the Essential phone, that's the only real flaw I found that's pretty much consistent is the cameras. They're just not as good as uh, one would want. However, for the price tag it's selling at right now, it's acceptable because they've given this phone like five updates. Oreo is now available if you don't know. You can sideload the beta. Essential is handling their business and I applaud them for that. Um, but with that being said, camera quality definitely goes to the iPhone 10. Now software is subjective, so I don't want to get into that. Either you like iOS or you like Android. I'm not going to get into that because I like them both. Performance wise, Apple's, Apple's hardware and processing power is bar none some of the top. Performance on Apple's software, or excuse, Apple's hardware internals is bar none some of the top notch. It is just a performance uh, champion. However, the Essential phone has the latest specs. It's got the Snapdragon 835. It's got the four gigs of RAM. It's got everything you need to power an Android phone and make it good. Yeah. So software, again, is subjective. But power and performance, it's not so much that that's subjective. It's just that, you know, trying to tell you which one runs faster sometimes can be an issue. Because people are going to say, well, my iPhone crashed. And people are going to say, well, my central phone crashed. So it's kind of, I haven't had a bad experience with either one of these. And that's how I'll leave that. Now, battery life. This also is subjective, but for me, on both of these phones, on the iPhone, you can't really measure your screen on time accurately, uh, but with the Essential phone, I can tell you that it gets six, sometimes seven hours of screen on time, so that's just one of those things. The iPhone lasts all day and sometimes into the next day, and so can the Essential phone, so that's kind of a wash for me, because that's going to depend on you and how you you know use your phone. Price is where the Essential phone has beaten the iPhone at every point in turn, you know, this phone is only $500 now and it's also dipping down to 400 in some places, the iPhone 1000 or 1150 excluding taxes. That's a lot of money. So which one of these do I think is the better phone? If I just had to give some, if you take away Android iOS and all that, and you just look at the phones for what you're going to use them for, I would definitely recommend the essential phone because the essential phone can do everything this phone can do. And then it has a little bit more flexibility because of Android. You get 128 gigs on this phone, 4 gigs of RAM for 500 bucks. Over here, you get 3 gigs of RAM or 256 gigs of RAM. Excuse me, 3 gigs of RAM or 256 or 64 gigs of storage. And that's 1150 or 1000 So even the 64 gig is still double the cost of this phone. So that's another reason I would recommend the Essential phone over the iPhone 10. And also, like I talked about, uh, the phone itself, you can snap on a 360 camera. That's, that's a huge plus because the camera, even if you add the camera on, it still doesn't cost as much as the iPhone. So that's a huge plus. That's a huge plus. The in-hand feel of this phone feels fantastic. Even though it's titanium on the side, it's got that flat metal design or that metal feel and look that I like compared to the shiny stainless steel on here. And again, totally subjective. I started the video off saying it that way. You make your own, you know, suggestions or recommendations in the comments. I think the Essential Phone has better hardware. Um, I know the, I, the iPhone has water resistance, HDR compliant on the screen. Um, what else does it have that, that this one doesn't have? Now, the battery in this Essential Phone is also, I didn't t cover that, but the battery is bigger as well. It's 3040, and this is 2716. Um, this has fast wireless charging. This has fast wireless charging, but the Essential Phone, you get the fast wireless charger right in the box. With Apple, you have to add on another $85. So, you be the judge. Would you rather spend $500 on a phone that's giving you double the memory of this one and half the cost, and your, the cameras aren't as good as the iPhone 10, but they are good, and this phone is running uh, the latest uh, processing power that most Android phones have, and it also has, you know, it has everything a person could want. And this is a ceramic and titanium phone, folks. The iPhone isn't that. The iPhone is glass. So you can drop this phone in the edges and corners and you probably won't get a shattered screen on first drop. I've dropped many iPhones and they shatter immediately. So you're going to have to decide which one you think is better. But of these two phones, I definitely recommend the Essential phone first. I think it has better build quality. The cameras are lacking a little bit. But... Again, software updates can fix that. It's not the sensors. It's about how, how, how Essential handled that situation. And also, I have the 
the Pixel APK installed, Pixel camera installed, so you should do that too. That's all you have to do, and you can get better footage from this phone. I've proved it. I've, I've posted those videos online. I'll try to remember to link that in the description. But of these two phones, man, it's not just about the price. You know, that's a huge factor for a lot of people. Uh, it should be a huge factor for you. But if, if these cost the same, because uh, I know you guys ask that sometimes, if these cost the same, drum roll, I would take the iPhone 10. I would take the iPhone 10. If these both were 500 bucks, I would take the iPhone 10, and here's why. The consistency of the updates and the support that I get with an iPhone is bar none better than what I'm gonna get with this Essential phone. But since you know these are not the same cost, you know, I'm gonna go with the Essential phone. I'm willing to take that risk at $500, and because Essential phone, if you don't know, if you follow them on Instagram and Twitter, uh, they already posted they're going to support this phone for three years and guarantee software. They're going to support it for two years and guarantee three years of software patches and updates. They said that. They posted that online. So you can read it on their Instagram. You read it on their Twitter. Um, but ultimately, I would tell a person to get the essential phone over the iPhone 10 for those reasons I just named. Yeah, the cameras aren't as good as this. But, I mean, this is a powerful, beautiful performing phone. The iPhone the iPhone 10, excuse me, the iPhone 10 is a great phone. But if you wanted to get the iPhone experience, you could buy you an essential phone, then turn around and buy you another iPhone like the iPhone 7. You can get those now recertified, sometimes brand new for 400 or 500 bucks. You can have both of them and get the same experience. It's up to you. It's your man, Jay Will. I think I would go with the essential phone if this one, if, if, if at the playing field they're at right now, if I didn't have them both. But if they were the same price... I'm definitely going to go with the iPhone because the iPhone to me is a very premium device. The support is there. The cameras are there. The speakers are there. The water resistance is there. Um, you know, it's just a good phone. But, you know, the essential phone in the final stat, in the final stretch, you know, now let's weigh this out. The essential phone to me has better hardware. The essential phone has a better screen. The iPhone has better speakers. The essential phone and features and options, there's probably definitely more on the iPhone. Uh, cameras are better on the iPhone. Uh, software is subjective, so I like them both. Battery life is about the same. Performance is really good on the iPhone, but it's also really good on the Essential phone. Price, the Essential phone wins. So if these were the same price, again, I can't stress this enough, I would definitely go with the iPhone 10. But if since they're not the same cost, I would I would recommend a person to buy the Essential phone. Make sense? All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. It's your man, Jay Will. Take care.